If I like a moment, I mean me, personally. I don't like to have the distraction of the camera. I just want to stay in it. Hey y'all, so welcome back to my channel. Guess where I'm at? I'm at the airport. Um, we are waiting to board our flight. We got here three hours early because, you know, I had to check in my luggage and your girl wants her stuff to arrive to its destination. So we're going to be in London for about seven days. I have um, a bunch of like places, landmarks that I want to visit, places I want to go to eat. We're just super excited. This is my first time going. So I know that I'm going to have a lot of fun, me and my partner. And I just expect good food. I expect good vibes. I'm just expecting a lot. So we're going to see how it goes. London. Okay, here's the light. So they have a pull-out door, the toilet, and then that part. Then we have the shower, which is right here. And then our bed. Coffee machine. TV, of course, a little sitting area. And this is our scenery. We finally made it to the room. We're all checked in. We landed in London maybe around 7 a.m. this morning. So we were on that flight for eight long hours. If you're ever coming to London, please make sure you get a luxury seat. Do not try to get the cheapest seat on the flight because you need leg room because that flight is so long but anywho they have an stk downstairs on the first floor um one side is for dinner the other side sells breakfast so we did get like we did pay extra for our hotel check-in just to have breakfast included every morning it was like i think 19 dollars or something like that but um so far so good we are tired, so we're going to get some rest, and then we're probably going to go outside a little later today. We are finally awake from our nap. I woke up trying to see what in this room works, what in this room does not work, and I realized that I can't use my flat irons. Like, they gave me an adapter for my flat irons, but I need a converter because... My voltage from the U.S. and my flat irons is too high for their voltage. So I will have to not only plug my flat irons into an adapter, but also convert my voltage to their voltage so that I don't blow out the circuits in the hotel. So I wish I would have known that before I got to London because I would have brought some type of converter. Um, but that's my experience so far at this hotel not sure if i would stay here again but this is only day one we have six more days to go so let's see uh, we're just trying to figure out what we're going to do for the night it's 5 20 um, p.m so we're trying to figure out if we're going to go out to get dinner if we're just going to chill in the room for the night because we did just land this morning um so we'll see but i did wake up 
and I did an Indian face mask. My partner, she brought um, like some type of like clay mask from I think Target before we left. And I put some in a travel kit because I was like, oh, when I get to London, I can do like a little face mask. So I did that. I just got done doing that. And it's, it's, it did your girl pretty good so far. My face is shining. It's bright. But I did put on some vitamin C and some of uh, after this, this here. And then I also put this, some of this on my face as well. Um, but yeah, so day one, we're going to see how this ish goes and I will keep you guys posted. Hopefully I can find something to plug my flat irons into because I know it's going to be raining a few days and I need to make sure that I have some type of electronic that I can use on my hair, but we'll see. Keep you guys posted. We did bring a drink from Chicago as well, you know, packed us up some gin just to have us something in the room. And then these are from the airplane. We got some Chardonnay and um, Sauvignon Blanc. Y'all, I didn't take my camera to the restaurant, but we went to this place called Sexy Fish. Um, it was in Mayfair in London. Every single dish that we order, when I tell you, it was chef's kiss, baby, chef's kiss. We got some gyoza, which is like chicken pot stickers. We got some lamb chops. We got some, um, a whole bunch of other stuff. What do we get? What else do we get? What do we get? Cod. We got some cod, but everything was chef's kiss. So if you guys decide to... <laughs> So if you guys decide to come to London, you need to go to Mayfair. It's a place called Sexy Fish. Bye. But let me give you guys, you know, this is what I wore. You know, real simple. Didn't want to do too much because a lot of the stuff that I wanted to pack, I forgot. I forgot to get a lot of stuff out of my closet when I left Chicago. So I'm like, I have basic stuff in London, but I have this white shirt, these jeans that I got from Fashion Nova, which are cute. And then I just paired them with my red bottoms. And that's it, baby, what you got on? Wanna give them a cameo of the freshness? Tell them what you got, what's the hat? On the Prada's. Ooh. White socks. Period. Rick Owen. Mm. Jacquard. <laughs> Jacquard vest, vintage, necessity, period, period. We're in London. I feel like since we got here, we have knocks in a little bit. I don't think. <laughs> yeah, we made it to London. <laughs> so I will chit chat with you guys tomorrow. That's day one. Or maybe tomorrow is actually day one because today we pretty much slept. We woke up and we ate some food. That was pretty much it. So I think like our day one is really tomorrow. So I will check in with you guys tomorrow. This is day two. We are going to check out this restaurant. It's an Indian restaurant called Dishoom. Um, and it's supposed to be like the best Indian restaurant in London. I love Indian food. If you know, you know. I'm super excited about going to this restaurant. Um, we did make reservations, so they do accept walk-ins. So we're going to see if God loves us, you know? Um, but I'm super excited about that, so that's what we're going to do. And then afterwards, we're going to probably go to, I think... The Dishoom we're going to is going to be in Soho, and afterwards, um, we're probably going to check out a few bars and stuff like that because that's like a a nice area to be in um, tonight, so we shall see. Not sure if I can take my camera. I may have to vlog off of my phone because the purse that I'm carrying tonight is small, and I can't fit my camera lens and camera holder. So we will see how it goes. Hi guys. 
I don't know if I told y'all, but yesterday was, I think, day three. We ended up going to this Indian restaurant called Dishoon in Soho in London. And when I tell y'all, that was like some of the best Indian food that I ever had. 10 out of 10, 10 out of freaking 10. That food was so good. And then after the restaurant, we walked around Soho um, a little bit in London. <clears throat> and we ended up going to this bar called She, she Bar. Um, it's a lesbian bar located in Soho. So that was really nice. And then afterwards, we ended up meeting these two girls. One was named Kush. The other girl name was She, She or something like that. And um, we ended up just walking around London with them and then also going to another club called Heaven that stayed open until like four in the morning. Um, so we partied at the club Heaven until four in the morning and then we ended up going to the girl's house who we met at the bar. We ended up going to their house and kicking it afterwards and we made it back to our hotel room at like 6 a.m. this morning. 6 a.m. and we slept the day away until about like maybe 2 p.m. and now it's currently I think like five or six o'clock in London now and we're gonna go out and try this restaurant called Nando's. We have a Nando's in Chicago but I think that's what it's called Nando de Gre what is it called Nando what? It's like a upscale of Nando's Perry Perry in Chicago. I can't think of the name um, whenever I do think of the name, I'll just put it down, pin it down in the comments below. But, um, but yeah, last night was a vibe. Like we had so much fun. We met some good people. Um, yeah. So let's see what today is about. I'll keep you guys posted. Oh wow. It's a drawbridge. It takes about five minutes. Horace Jones, 1894. Yep, Tower Bridge. Buckingham Palace, guys. This is where Queen Elizabeth used to live before she passed away. Okay. So you got two sides. So it's the Lord. So the Lord Republican in the state. Republic and Democrats on one side. Mm -hmm. And the Lords like hereditary, they never
But this is where so obviously you'll have Hamlet, you'll have um, Macbeth, Romeo and Juliet will be here. Yeah. Tower of London, guys. Here is where the wall. Like a... This is the wall that goes around the, the square mile, and that's London Bridge. So are yes. these names on here like yep. South? What are they is? like areas or groups? Of right, so south Walk. Okay. Yeah. London Bridge. Well, that's got Tower Bridge, but it's London Bridge. Yeah. And this here is the square mile, which is here. That there is the Roman wall. And they had um, gates, so you can get, get in and out the walls. Old gate, Bishop's gate, new gate, blood gate. Yeah? Okay. And that there was a fort. So mm. then we carry on going. Yeah. We've got Westminster Abbey being built. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Destroyed. So, carry on going, there, because they never, never had any proper sewage system. Oh, the, yeah, I do yeah. remember that. Everybody got sick. System. Yeah, like measles. So, they, yeah. they kept on getting the Black Death. It was caused by rats that came over here. Oh, my ships. gosh. Yeah? The peasants revolt. We fought so many fights against the French. They had to be paid somehow. So, they taxed the peasants. And they had enough. They had a big revolt which was severely taken down. Now this place here's got a Lord Mayor. Yeah? It's more of a figurehead now. You've got a Lord Mayor, which is for this square mile, but you've got an actual mayor who controls everything, the roads and the underground and everything. Yeah? yeah? Then you've got the Guild Hall. That is Shakespeare's Globe Theatre, the original one. Mm -hmm. Yeah? That caught fire. From a play called Henry V. That caught fire, but then it was closed down by Cromwell. Yeah? Now, every November, you, you have Halloween, don't you? Yeah. yeah. Yeah? Well, we used to have, or still have, fireworks night. Around Halloween? Yeah. November the 5th. Mm -hmm. That's because a man called Guy Fawkes, who was Catholic, like I said, Catholic Protestants, he had went into the dungeons underneath the House of Commons with barrels of gunpowder to try and blow up the king, King James wow. I. He got caught. Yeah? God bless her. <laughs> yeah? But that's where we celebrate fireworks night and bonfires and putting the guy, which is an effigy of him, on the fire. But you now... Look how small their pineapples are compared to in the U.S. So I got this right now. So. Right.
I don't remember what part of town this is, but we're at Sumba Sushi and we are, you know, just chilling or whatever. So this is how the area looks. One second. This is what we can see. So it's a rooftop. Hello, what is that? Yeah, we're trying to figure out what we want like at the moment. Okay. I would like the miso soup, definitely. Okay. And I was leaning towards sushi or maybe the wagyu gyoza. I think you're fine. Yeah, yeah you can I'm take done. it. Yeah. 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 So we are having a blast in London. Like I feel like this experience has been so great. Um, I've learned a lot about the history, um, the food. Oh my gosh, y'all. So we ordered some chicken last night. And when I tell you the chicken in Chicago looks totally different from the chicken in London, like just totally different. Like you just know that you're eating something like to totally healthier. And I low-key don't even want to like come back to the states because I feel like I've just felt like a burst of energy I've just felt overall healthy like I just felt like this is the place for me and like living in the US where there's like a lot of capitalism and everything is ruled by like greed and money and they charge for everything like you just realize how different it is in um, when you go to Europe and when you go to the United Kingdom because of course they have free health care over here we don't have free health care in the US they charge for every single thing um, but just know when you do come over here the pound they have pounds over here in the UK their money is worth more than the dollar in um, in the US so just know they charge like 1.5 was it 1.53 percent? 1.5 of a dollar. One part is 1.5 percent of a dollar. Um, so yeah. So our U.S. dollar is nothing. Uh huh. Yeah, our U.S. dollar is like really nothing compared to over here. We're richer over here. Like yeah, and then oh, like guys. So what we learned today is that you can get a two bedroom, two bath over here. It costs a million dollars. A million dollars compared to living in the U.S. where you can get a two-bedroom, two-bath two for maybe like $2,000, maybe $3,000 or something like that if you want to live like in a good area. Oh, well, we had a really good day. We went to the Buckingham Palace. We went to um, the Big Ben. And the Big Ben is what a part of the Parliament. Yes. Yeah. The Big Ben the is big a Parliament. Ben is just a bell. Yeah, but the... The reason for the Big Ben is it's not actually the clock. It's like the bell inside of the clock. So that's where the term Big Ben derives from. And then we also went to the London Tower. We went to the Millennium Bridge. Um, so we booked a taxi that took us to all of the, those locations. And he gave us a lot of history um, in regards to London. And today is what, day four? Mm -hmm. I think today is day four, um, but right now we're just pretty much people watching on this rooftop and we've been having a blast. So I would recommend everyone to visit London at least once or twice in your lifetime and just know that when you come to London, people are straightforward. So don't take them as like having an attitude. They just are very direct. And if you're a direct person, then it's not going to bother you, but they're, they're, they're very direct. So we're at um, Halal, which is a Turkish restaurant, and I ordered some prawns. Now in Chicago, 
typically our king prawns are really, really big, but this is what they said our king prawns. These are supposedly king prawns. What do you have, babe? She has mushroom and like cheese. And this is our salad. What's good? That salad? Good mushroom and cheese. Yeah. Okay, let's give these prawns a try. This is a prawn. But um, it'll do. Look how small this is. Look, once I take the bread off. This just matter. Once I take the bread off, this is what I'm left with, guys. A prawn. <laughs> Here's my prawn, guys. This is a prawn. <laughs> yeah, with the mushrooms, it balances it out. It balances it out because if you just got cheese by itself, that would just be a bowl full of cheese. It's a shareable plate, so I just got fries because my partner got rice with her dish, and she got the peri peri chicken. So let's see how it tastes. So I'm gonna taste the chicken. This is the peri peri chicken. It's a lot of food though, y'all. It is. 
I even expect to get all of this food. Like these are some big ass lamb chops. And it's a lot of chicken. But we're going to eat it though. They have a TK Maxx. I guess it's uh, the same as a TJ Maxx in Chicago. We decided to come here tonight to see if it's similar to Chicago's Chinatown, but of course it's not. Hey y'all, so it's day seven. It's bittersweet. We've had a blast in London. Um, I would rate this trip a 10 out of 10. We definitely had a good experience. We had good food. It felt like we were right at home. Like I felt like I was in New York or like in Chicago, um, walking the streets of London, doing a lot of tourism stuff, um, eating at a lot of good restaurants. Like every single restaurant that we went to was their food was really, really good. So today I think we're going to go to either Brixton Market, which is like an all black area, um, or we're going to go to Camden Market, which is an area where they have like different restaurants outside. And you, it's like a little market. You just walk through and you can grab something to eat. Um, and then we're also going to take photos by the red telephone booth. I know we should have done that maybe a few days ago, but it's our last day. We finally have time to do it. But I'm definitely going to be coming back to London, um, and I'm going to show you guys around today for our final day. So, <laughs> I don't want to go back to the U.S. I really don't, guys. <laughs> We got stranded in Camden Market. There were no Ubers that were coming to Camden Market. So we had to get on their subway system, which is called the Tube, and get off at Lancaster to get back to Soho. So I guess we finally caught the tube, you guys. There were no Ubers that wanted to come to Camden Market. So it's our first experience on the tube. Right now my focus is peace and happiness. I feel like I owe that to myself. And then surrounding myself with people that love me the same way that I love. If you guys have gotten this far, you have reached the end of my vlog. I made it home from London. I had such an amazing experience. The people were nice. All the food that I had was really, really good from Sexy Fish, which was an Asian restaurant, to Dishoom, an Indian restaurant. We went to a Turkish restaurant called Hala. And of course, we went to Camden Market. Um, I think it was Borough Market, too, we went. We just went to a bunch of places. Of course, we were tourists as well. We went to a lot of the landmarks. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I put a lot of time and dedication into getting this video out for you guys. Um, so I would love for you to like, subscribe, and support your girl channel. But I will be posting more travel vlogs and a bunch of other, a lot of other kind of vlogs too. So just like, subscribe to your girl channel, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.